All right, so now we're at the planning stages of our design. And as you can see here, um, as I mentioned earlier, this is going to be the first design that we're going to be addressing. Now, um, one of the things I want to bring up first and foremost is the idea of how our designs are going to react inside of our browser windows. In other words, the very first type of design that I'm going to be showing you how to create, not only in Photoshop, but then how to assemble inside of Dreamweaver, is this one here, which I would refer to as a fixed pixel based design. And the reason we're addressing a fixed pixel based design first is because it's probably the easiest style of design that we can build inside of our websites. So, um, what a fixed pixel based design will do is once it's inside of a browser window if I move that browser window if I uh, resize that browser window if I full screen that browser window the elements inside of the browser the design that we're creating right here is going to be fixed in other words it's fixed to a specific size and it's never going to move it's it's always going to be sort of set in that sort of um, scenario the other kind of website that we will also be addressing in our series here is something called a liquid based design and liquid based designs are much more malleable they stretch out they they move around some of the text will be resized when we sort of uh, resize our browser window the text will wrap and you know get bigger or smaller there's advantages and disadvantages to both of these um, the advantages to a fixed pixel based design is number one um, quite simply it's it's a lot easier to sort of build inside of your um, web scenario. And uh, the other advantage is, is that you always have a um, sort of understanding of how big your text is going to look, how big the columns of your text are going to look. So you don't end up with, uh, if somebody has like some ridiculously large screen, uh, you don't end up with... Um, 75 words on one line before a new paragraph uh, or line in that paragraph begins. A liquid based design on the other hand also has its advantages. Um, one of the things that we want to avoid is horizontal scrolling on our designs. Well if somebody has a screen resolution that's smaller than this d particular design um, one of the things that you'll encounter if you're working with a fixed pixel is that in order to see the entire design you might have a horizontal scroll bar that's generally something you want to avoid so before we move forward with our planning of how this is going to be laid out and what it's going to do one of the things that you have to sort of keep in mind is the simple fact that if we are addressing a fixed pixel based design we have to know what the average end user is going to be looking at in terms of their screen resolution and how it is going to react with our particular design. So, a couple of things about that. Where do we get this screen information? Where do we get this information about resolution and how things work in that case? One of the best places you could go is the W3C, which is the World Wide Web Consortium. There are a bunch of uh, people out of MIT that are working to set the web standards. Um, it's led by a guy by the name of Tim Berners-Lee. Incidentally, he actually invented HTML in the very early 90s. And um, he and his team are responsible for things like web standards, um, the CSS revolution, um, all of these different things which make developing web pages so much better than it was say 10 years ago or something along those lines. So um, that's one spot that you can go. There's another place that you can go um, called Net Market Share as you can see here. And what I'm showing you in the Net Market Share website is this. Um, the vast majority of people who are looking at your websites have a screen resolution of minimum 1024 by 768 or higher that's the vast majority of people so higher than 1024 by 768 probably accounts for like 94 95 percent of your audience anything smaller than that is a very small portion of your audience um, 800 by 600 used to be popular but as technology improves and as screens get better and graphic cards get better uh, more and more people are able to support a higher screen resolution 
um, on their particular computers. So when we are addressing a fixed pixel based website and deciding upon our environment and how we're going to sort of plan for this 1024 by 768 environment, we have to um, keep those statistics in mind. So even though 20% and higher are uh, on um, 1024 by 768, what we're saying here is that if we address that base of 1024 by 768, that will give us um, something that's going to work on the vast majority of people's browsers. So if a person has a browser size that's larger than 1024, no problem. You're just going to have some extra space on the left and right hand side of your website. If somebody is at 1024, that's great too because that's exactly how we're optimizing our Photoshop layout to work inside of their browsers. So you'll only have like, you know, less than 1% uh, of the population that will actually um, encounter a horizontal scroll bar when looking at your website in a full screened scenario. So that's actually pretty good statistics for us and because of that we're going to address our layout and plan for our layout to be well within the 1024 environment. Now if you'll notice when you say file new inside of Photoshop um, one of the things that you can address is that there are preset sizes. There are preset sizes here for the print industry, US paper, international paper, stuff like that. But there are also web and mobile devices, film and video, stuff like that. Well, the web presets are all set to different screen resolutions, and that's wonderful. So you might think, hey, Santo just told me 1024 by 768 is the way to go, so that's what I'm going to choose. But let's hold on before we do that. I want to also address something else to you. If I were to just switch over to Firefox here for a second, and we're looking at this full screen, um, when we say that the screen resolution is actually 1024 by 768, what I actually mean there is the very top of my screen down to the very bottom of my screen, as you can see here. But um, with this browser being full size, as, as you very well can see, um, notice that there's a lot of information here, or rather a lot of real estate that's being taken up by a number of things. Number one, the operating system. I'm working on a Mac. You might be working on a PC, um, but that operating system is going to take up a small portion of your screen. But look at this, the browser, and here I'm working inside of Firefox, the browser is taking up a good portion of real real estate on my screen as well. Not only here at the top, but there's some scrollable areas down here on the side. There's also uh, down here at the bottom a status bar that's taking up some of my screen. So all my website really has to contend with is this area in the middle right here. 